then put in the lady finger, and then a little bam! Just a little. Is that pancetta? It's pancetta! Pancetta! <laughs> Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Perfect corn popper in hand. Behold, the shank, the oil and unpopped kernels. When we come back, another knife! Stick around! Hello, and welcome to this semester's first edition of Gamecocks in the Kitchen. I'm your host, Marissa Bank, and today we're going to be... Today we thought we, we thought you might enjoy making something to fit your college budget. Okay, so we just won't use any of the footage that we just shot. I also kind of cut my finger a little bit, but it's not bleeding. Our first step is going to be preparing the main ingredients. We're gonna start by dicing the tomato. I already sliced it, so we're just gonna go ahead and dice about half of this. Um, well, making a cooking show is different than just cooking like at your house or something, because you actually have to explain what you're doing and it. It makes it a little more difficult to multitask because you have to, you know, tell your viewers every step while doing it and making a presentable product as well. If you want to slice it. So what, what, what is that called? Julienne? Julianne. 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 Like so you're going to cut it Julianne. Julianne style. Julianne style. Got it. Who's okay. <laughs> so once you have about half of your tomato diced into a cup, uh, we're going to go ahead and cut the mozzarella cheese. Um, we're going to cut this julienne style. It was definitely difficult because I didn't really know the specifics of handling the cheese or handling the tomatoes or how to cut this or that and everybody else had to help me because I don't really know um, the technical stuff behind it. I'm, I usually just stick to chicken nuggets and spaghetti so this was definitely a challenge for me. Well I've never done this before. Pull up the, uh, the the menu thing is on there. Huh? Yeah, so no. Besides, like, chicken nuggets. No. I don't really know how to dice tomatoes. So once you've prepared your ingredients, we're going to go ahead and spray your pan with cooking oil and turn the heat to medium low. Cooking on the show is different in the sense that you have to do it in a much more calculated way and you have to really plan out every step. I said one cup, I think. Once you've put your tomato in the pan, we're gonna go ahead and put one tablespoon of minced garlic. But if you cook at home, uh, you can kind of just go on the fly and do it however you thought was best. Um, so it's much more uh, I think planned just out. To add, it said to like sprinkle it on. So I didn't know. We don't have to use the dice, I guess. What if I mess up and I then I burn the bread? I guess I should have said flip it. Oh well. Just look at the camera and say now we're gonna flip it. Now we're gonna flip it. Which? The I guess we, if we have the audio though, it'd be better to have the audio from yeah. So now we're gonna go ahead and flip it. Okay. <laughs> so now that you've cooked both sides of the sandwich, you can go ahead and turn the heat off and bring your sandwich over to a plate off of the heat. And now you're finished. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Gamecocks in the Kitchen. We'll see you next time. Happy eating.